Bloomies are forever. I need to sit the entire time like this so you can see my shirt. I, that's not going to happen though. Hello, I'm Melissa and I sell on eBay part time and I love the color aqua full time, all the time. I thought the other day about a video of collecting all of the blue items in my house and just talking through them. This is going to be a very long video, but I know some of you also like me like long videos. That was terrible grammar. Let's start that sentence over. This is going to be a very long video, but I know some of you like me love long videos to put on in the background of working and just feel like a little bit of chit chat is going on in your office space. So I thought I would gather all the blue items in the whole house. Well, I made it through <laughs> one room, my bedroom, and then I grabbed some stuff in the second bathroom. I must have hundreds of items here. So we are going to get started. The first item is a makeup bag that I bought something and this was a free gift. I can't even remember what it is that I bought, but it was free. Free is always good. The next item is this frame that I painted over. It used to be something like Mothers Are Great and I picked it up after Mother's Day on clearance at Hobby Lobby and I painted over it with acrylic paints and then I glued on a gold tone seashell. This usually hangs above my doorway. However, I found something else I love more. This was to be a gift and I have to order another one because I love it so much. This is my new over the door sign or piece of artwork. We live just off of Anna Maria Island, which is a seven mile island in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of Florida. So we moved down here three years ago. My doctors are down here. And honestly, we've always wanted to live here. And this is the exact sign. It's not the exact sign. It's a replica of the exact sign. So I'm going to put in a screenshot of me kissing this manatee. That's what this animal is called, a manatee. And we have seen so many of these over the years, just hanging out in the Gulf. Next item is my giant cup. I had a blue cup that wasn't the shade that I loved and it broke. I dropped it and it broke even though it has this handle. My hands sometimes get a little numb and we replaced it with this giant cup. It came and it's 52 ounces. And I realized a few days ago, I refill this about six to eight times a day and drink all of this water. So when I saw the doctor yesterday from my lidocaine injections, I asked him if you could drink too much water. I didn't want to Google it. I feel like I have Googled it in the past and the answer is yes. So I asked my doctor and he said that was way too many times and try to drink this only one and a half times can't cut down that much doc but we are going to try my phone <laughs> this was in my bedroom i have the eye ring on the back it's a great alternative for a pop socket pop socket spread your fingers apart and this is just a little movable ring you can push it down so it goes flat or you can stand it up and slip your finger through. And it's really good because I've dropped my phone, thankfully not cracked it, but just, again, I drop things because of my hands. Two massage rollers. One of these was from FabFitFun. And I wanna say it was this aqua one. I must've picked this up at TJ Maxx, Marshalls. These feel really good on my skin and they are always in this next item which my mom bought me this is really heavy I'm gonna put this down we'll do one of those and it's more mint green than my exact color but honestly it's really close and I love any shade so she bought this for me I think when we first moved in and now it houses all of my physical therapy equipment and some of my medical equipment put that down we found this tray on the side of the road. I almost dropped it. 
It's plastic and it reminds me of mermaid scales. This is also free on the side of the road, but it's from Dollar Tree. It houses my scrunchies and hair ties usually, which I do have some in here that were blue because I wanted to pull every blue item. I didn't pull my prescriptions or medical equipment that I thought might be not great to show on film. <laughs> but I've been making these just buy elastic on Amazon and I really like them. The next item is for my tub. I used to take baths more than I do. I used to be in a reclining wheelchair and I needed help, a lot more help than I do now. So my husband would help me in and out of the baths and that's how I would get clean. So we bought this when we first moved in. I am in love, in love with this body lotion. I watch Katie on Royalty Soaps. She makes soaps and she is just so full of a positive joy, let's call it. And I've loved watching her for months and months and I finally splurged, it's only $7, and bought a few of these. And this one is Mermaid Treasure. And I opened it yesterday. It smells exactly like the Gulf of Mexico. I have no idea what kind of magic she put in here but the scent lasted from when I put it on yesterday to when I showered today. The scent is so good. Oh my goodness. I actually wrote to Katie yesterday. I don't know why she'll write me back. And I said, is this something you stock regularly? Or is this something that I just need to buy all of them? Because this will just now be a very treasured scent. Some sprays for after I use the bathroom. I bought them because they were blue. I also have things like toothpaste and other bath products that were just honestly not very exciting that were blue. So I've, I've used those. This has been sitting here, this pile of blue items has been sitting here for three days. We had some workers outside that I just couldn't film and then I didn't feel the best. So my deodorant and toothbrush. I did bring my toothbrush and toothpaste back, but that's, I don't know that I'll get to show you that. Q-tips, they're blue. Oh, my needles. I, I decided not to go the medical route, so we'll put those down. Batiste dry shampoo. I can't always take a shower, and so my hair gets really greasy really quickly. This one's my backup, and I don't know where I put the cap, but I've I've moved on to the same company that now does brunette hair and it sprays and kind of just fills in my oily bits. Oh, I do have a, a toothpaste. You don't care. Toothpaste. Grown Alchemist from the FabFitFun Fall Box. I opened these and had 12 different Grown Alchemist products. My sister got this one and said to keep it. And so I did, and I've been using it. It's good. It's good stuff. I wouldn't pay the retail value, which I think was 70 something dollars, I want to say. 60 or 70 dollars. Yeah, I would totally never pay that. But it is a really good facial exfoliant. M Murad Skin Perfecting Lotion. Another thing in a FabFitFun box. Couldn't tell you how long ago. I thought I would use this more, but I've moved on, so I have to see if my sister wants these. A blue scrunchie. I've already dropped two of these and they've rolled under my bed. So this is not all of my blue thread, but I have a whole bunch of different shades of teal and blue and baby blue and all the shades that make me happy thread. The last item in here is a metal, I guess, metal mermaid. I used to belong to a subscription box called Adrift Gifts, and the woman was based out of Florida. And I'm guessing this was 2014 before we moved here, and then into maybe 2016, and then she stopped doing it. But she used to send bags of sand of local Florida beaches. And one of them was our beach. 
our beach, uh, which is Coquina or Cortez. We like both of those. And this was something she sent in the box. It was a light pink color and I painted it. It hangs on the door, my bedroom door on the outside. I love her. I am going to wipe away this area and move some things over here so they are convenient and I don't have to bend down. I will be right back. The next item are my hangers. I splurged. I am all the way happy with these hangers. I wanted nice hangers for a long time and I did have nice hangers, don't get me wrong, they weren't, I don't know what bad hangers are. I had a consignment shop in Pennsylvania there for so a little they were bit, very years and years ago, and plastic hanger. They were a lot wider, and in Florida, our closets aren't as large as our ones back in Pennsylvania. They're still fine. We still had plenty of room here. But when I moved to Florida, I really wanted good hangers, and so I splurged on these Joy mango magnato I don't know what you call her on HSN I'm sure you've seen these they are flocked hangers I tried buying a cheaper brand on Amazon I just bought a small set to see and they broke so HSN the home shopping network if you're not in the know about the home shopping network has like a special value some days and I happened to be watching happened to be watching and they had these and I forget what I paid for them but they weren't like super expensive they were less than 50 cents a hanger and I got two sets so I have 100 of these and I love them I got gold tone they swivel really nicely I use them sometimes to hang clothing in photographs they have the gold little emblem that says joy. And they're more of a green aqua, in my opinion. Yeah, or green aqua. They did have turquoise, but I really wanted this color and I can't remember what they called it. If I somehow magically figure out how to log into my account from years ago. On Next HSN, up is the bag that my the sister gifted me when she was here visiting in July. It says Aquaholic. <laughs> Isn't it so perfect? This has a special place hanging in my closet. And I don't actually I have it on the back wall well with the command hook. I like it too much to use it. Oh, there's pillowcases inside. I'm sure I put those in too. Oh, and I never clipped off the tag. How funny is that? It's by Mud Pie. Mud Pie. It sums me up beautifully aquaholic so good an aqua electric cord electric cord electrical cord I found this at Target years ago and I wish I would have bought all of them this is the one my go-to cord if I need to plug in lighting and I specifically couldn't use it <laughs> because it was going to be in this video so I try to take care of it aqua extension cord how silly right if something comes in a choice of colors most likely I'm steering toward aqua not necessarily for curtains or big purchases couches or even linens most times I get a very neutral but then anything like that that I can I can have an aqua and it just makes me so happy this found its way into my room this is my raffia wrapping ribbon let's call it that for when I wrap eBay packages this morning I only had one package to ship and it required a lot of tape and because my husband is sleeping I didn't want to tape it right while he was sleeping tape is really loud so I brought it in my bedroom and so this is now in my bedroom that needs to go back my aqua Birkenstocks I I never used to be into Birkenstocks. I was an ortho heel girl. My feet definitely need more than they used to. 
and I and really enjoyed <laughs> I just like paused there awkwardly I really enjoyed ortho heel which is sold at a lot of places I couldn't tell you why I switched over I think they discontinued the style I really enjoyed which was a wider two strap style and when we moved here to Florida I couldn't find them anymore and I only had one or two pairs of sandals so now I own this exact style which is the Arizona one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I own about seven or eight pairs of these and the aqua ones are really hard to find they sell out really quickly I found these on eBay for under $60 which I thought was a phenomenal deal because again the aqua are more rare than the other colors and so they're my favorite pair of shoes my thread up boxes and for those asking I'm sure I'm going to mention this again in the future I did make money from all of those boxes except the clothing box clothing box I lost money on thread up did not send me those boxes for free they did not sponsor those they did not know I was making videos but there toward the end these came in the last box and the last box was really good so I'm guessing they caught on maybe that I was making videos. Th these were one of the pairs of shoes. I had ordered 50 pairs of shoes and this was one of the only pairs that came in my size and they're teal. I haven't worn them yet. I have tried them on. They looked pretty adorable if I don't say so myself with a pair of denim overalls that one of my subscribers Kathy sent me but that day I had to just go pick up a prescription for bear at the pharmacy like a half mile from our house and so I didn't want to deal with all of the lacing but they look really cute in my closet I don't know if this is going to be a permanent addition to my wardrobe we'll see I'm assuming not but we'll see they're really cute right the next item, oh, I love this item. This was a new addition to my wardrobe as well. I got it from Bin Pickers. It's it's definitely too, too big on me, but I mean, it's not like ridiculously large, but it's from Land's End. It's a down jacket. I bought it, it's like 90 degrees out. I bought it last month and I put all of my winter stuff which is 10 pieces in the attic. So I didn't remember if I had a winter jacket or not. I'm sure I do, but I love the color. I love supporting other eBayers. I've worn this a couple times now inside if I get really cold. This is a good one. It's so soft. If you have watched my channel at all, you might be familiar with my swim pillow. This was on my couch and it will make its way back to the couch come swimming season. You can actually swim now. There's a lot of people swimming still in the pool and the Gulf. The Gulf still swimming. has red tide. And the fish still are not washing up on the sand as much or maybe not at all at this point. So this has retired for the season and now lives on my bed. I bought it from the bins. Did I say that? I found this at the bins and it was one of those days where the bins weren't disgusting and it has down feathers inside and I've washed the entire thing several times. This also came with me to the hospital. My husband was needing a smaller pillow. And so on one of my trips home and then so back it to the was hospital, just washed. I brought this up. Washed. Washed. <laughs> it stinks when I wash it. I wash the two pieces separately and just the cover goes in a cotton wash and then the inside because it's feathers goes in a little bit more of a gentle wash. Wet feathers stink. I'm so glad it doesn't smell. Yeah, no scent. Oh, I smell the lotion. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. Anyway, it doesn't smell anymore, but wet feathers. Ooh, it's a rough one. Ha! Huh. Good toss, me. This whole pile's gonna fall. We lost a pile. 
this was another recent find. You're gonna think I just buy things all the time, and I do, but I do sell a lot of my items. If you looked at our house normally, it doesn't look too overcrowded in my opinion. We try to be, this is just sounding ridiculous as I show you 4,000 products. We try to be fairly organized, less cluttery people. We have no children, we have no pets, we don't host big parties. So, I found this at the thrift store, not the bins, but another thrift store. Washed it, same thing happened. I actually listed this and they were going for maybe $20, $30. And then I went to put it away and I pulled it. I liked it too much. It's the Ralph Lauren Lauren collection. So it's maybe Macy's. It's not the super high-end pillow, but it has this worn in thing happening. And I'm going to call it sun-kissed. Gap used to call this sun-kissed. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's like little white threads. Do you see it? And I'm also very much enjoying that pillow. I will now do one of the most perfect free finds we have ever found in my mind. This vintage map was in the basement of that house and it was on the wall and I was like, Greg, you need to take this down. I was trying to sell him on the idea of having it reframed. It was just the paper and putting it back in his new house somewhere because it was original to the property and it was a map of the exact area. I thought that was the coolest thing. He was not having it. I tried to do that a few times in passing because I loved it that much. He was like, no. So my husband then found this frame at a yard sale. It's not like the most perfect frame. It cuts off a little bit of the map, but I didn't cut it. I just simply put it in there. So if I ever wanted to find something larger, but honestly for a dollar, he found the frame. I'm, I'm just thrilled with this entire thing. I am 99.9% .9 in love with this. This makes me so happy. So I'll show you. This right here, huh, is that me? I'm standing. You can see the reflection. This right here is Anna Maria Island. It used to only have one bridge, which is called Cortez Bridge, and my P.O. box is right on this piece of property across the bridge. So my P.O. box is Cortez. And then we live somewhere closer to in this square, I think. And then all of this is Palmetto and Tampa and St. Petersburg it comes down. And this is called the Sunshine Skyway. We used to rent on what used to be called School Key, but is now called Key Royale. So, I love this. It hangs right above my dresser. Love, love it. That's one of those pieces that I can see always keeping. Not like my Converse. Sorry, Converse. I purchased this maybe within the last six months from one of my subscribers I purchased this and a J Jill top which is an aqua but this is and I've been using it for the bins it could use another washing <laughs> fanny pack these are target towels they were perfect I found them I loved them I bought them moving on swimsuits these are my blue swimsuits I have two levels of swimsuits. The first level would be the most comfortable swimsuit that doesn't press on my hip flexors. I have a lot of pain associated with my hip flexors because of how many nerves go through there and that's probably one of my worst areas and most, most bathing suits cut right there. So I need the thing very loose and oversized. So I have swim bottoms. I'm gonna save that. A swim top. The tops can be um, tighter. I think I found this one at the bins. I can't remember. This I did find at a thrift store, 
Um, oh, so this would be another example of a piece I don't love. It's got red in it. It's not my exact favorite print in the world, but this I did find at a thrift store and I was going to sell it, but then I realized this absolutely just, it, it's way too big on me, honestly, but it sits on me in a way that's not obscene <laughs> and I can just go over to the pool and sit. This would not work if I was making laps that day, but this is more of like a sitting. It has no elastic basically, not like that thin elastic band. So it's so smooth right there. It's perfect for what I need it for. Not, not my favorite print though. The next item is something I keep and I have two or three of these. Land's End. It's a long torso swimsuit. I know I found this at a thrift store and this fits me a little bit closer. I'm not keen on the way the elastic is, but if I'm doing laps or trying to do some physical therapy in the pool, I don't need something that's just going to move as I move. My clothing, all of my clothing is in shades of blue, white, gray, black, olive green. Those are my clothing. I'm looking at it now. I do have one shirt in kind of a light shell pink. I'm sure you've seen me wear it. Uh, <laughs> that's how I feel about that shirt. So I thrift a lot. I don't work in an office and all of my clothes tend to be very oversized cottony pieces, but you've probably seen a lot of these on me. This is Sun Bay size medium. Sun Bay is a local brand, I think, that is in Beals. I need to film Beals. Beals is probably on par with a JCPenney. It's, it's not a high-end department store by any means, but almost the entire store, it's, it's a large department store, is beachy. Everything in it has been kissed by the beach. It's hysterical if you don't live in an area that has a Beals. As somebody who grew up on Long Island, New York, and then lived in Pennsylvania before moving here, when I got here and went into Beals with my friend Dar, hi Dar, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> like every piece of clothing, every table, every everything is just like the beach kindly transformed it into a beachy item. So I think this is a Beals brand. It's more greeny aqua than aqua, but it has a shell. I like the v-neck. I don't have a lot of v-neck. I like it. This I did find at a thrift shop as well, and I cropped it. And I'm a little not thrilled at myself for not cropping it a little longer. It's okay. I wear it a lot. I'm not loving when I bend over a lot in shipping videos in such a crop shirt. I have to remember that. But it says Anna Maria Island. And, and it's turquoise. One of my subscribers sent me this shirt. I'm sure you've seen me wearing this. It says Texas. Hello everybody that lives in Texas. It's a v-neck. It's soft. It's so soft. I love it. This is one of my Everlane shirts, and Everlane is a pretty good name if you're thrifting. I have been a fan of Everlane. I have to check my blog. I had a blog from 2011 um, that I updated fairly regularly before YouTube, and I'm pretty sure I started liking Everlane, I'm going to say six to eight years ago, and their t-shirts are $15.00. They are a fairly conscious fashion brand that tells you what factories manufacture items. They're very transparent. So this is an Everlane piece. This one's a size medium. I have purchased the small to extra large, but I'm more of like probably a medium right now. I don't tend to buy items based on size. <laughs> These are a pair of shirts I have, I found at the thrift store. The brand is Lee, 
These have a very soft, stretchy waistband. It's called the Total Freedom Waistband if I was wearing tighter fitting items. I don't wear these often. I don't wear jeans often. I don't have any jeans, in fact, I just have one pair of overalls. But because, again, of how I need the fabric to lay for my nervous system, I just don't tend to wear these, but I did need a few pairs of shorts, so I did pick these up. I've worn them maybe once or twice. They're, they're good for what they are. Another Everlane t-shirt. You're gonna be sick of me saying Everlane. The sun's also medium. It's in dark blue. V-neck, I like their V-neck tops. This one I picked up from an eBay seller and I've washed it a whole bunch. This was at the hospital with me. It's not fared well. I have to give it a fabric shave, I think. It's J. Crew. It has anchors on it. Cute. Another thrift store find. And this one could use a fabric shave too. Made in the USA. I like to wear leggings, usually in the winter time. So this is one of a very long tank top set I have. It's a v-neck too. Oh, I might have more v-necks than I was realizing. It's cotton. The next item I found while I lived in Pennsylvania. So I know this is, I might have had this for the last 10 years or so. It's Ralph Lauren. The button came off so now I just cuff it up. It's a denim. I usually leave it open. Is that true? I think I usually leave it open. This is more of like a wintry thing in my mind. Florida winter. It's got the crest. It's denim. Going on the floor. I've had this for a long time too. This it was thrifted, it's lucky, it's a men's. It's thermal, which sometimes my body doesn't do well with textures, but the inside of it is more smooth than the outside. So I'm doing okay with this. I sleep in this, I have painted in this, I have washed things with bleach in this. This is just one of those pieces that will probably live with me forever. It's not my my necessarily favorite piece of clothing, but it's probably one of my most worn pieces of clothing. Isaac Mizrahi Live. This was a QVC find. I bought three of these. <laughs> I bought a black one and then I got it home, realized it's pretty flattering on my body type. It's really soft and I bought two more. And Isaac Mizrahi Live, isn't cheap on QVC. It has a little ruffle on the sleeve. It has a peplum. I think I bought these. I can't tell you when I bought these. I don't know, but I have a black and white one too. Another thrift find. I've had this for a long time too. It's definitely a pale aqua. The brand is Repeat and it's a size 40, but it was made in China. I don't know. I don't have a ton of long sleeve items and when I do wear a long sleeve it's usually one of these like ovary pieces that that hangs down a little longer. I like it. I like the ruffles. It's cotton. <laughs> Can you imagine? Ooh, sit on this straight. Oh one of my viewers just sent me this. Look at the color. Isn't it perfect? But thank you so much. It does fit. I just wear things open usually. It's, it's very soft. This will be one of those pieces I just like wear to death. Another aqua piece. That one's definitely more of a lightweight piece and this one is heavier. This is from Athleta. I haven't yet worn this a ton. I think I've only worn it once or twice because it is so heavy and um, I will freeze in the winter time here. So this is one of those pieces I'll start wearing here soon as the temperature drops. It's a hoodie. 
No, that is not all my tops. Oh my goodness, I have so many tops in this color. <laughs> There's so many pieces of clothing I'm realizing. Another thrift find. This is Time and True. I don't know. Looks like a Walmart piece. It's just a really soft t-shirt I sleep in. Are you tired of listening to me say it's just? This I've had for a long time. This needs fabric roll too. I don't think I've worn this this season. So I'll have to see if I wear this come winter. It's a longer piece and so I can wear it with leggings come winter time. Yeah, I'm debating. No, I'll keep it for winter time and then see if I wear it. Most of my clothing I wear on a regular basis. Again, I don't really have special clothing. <laughs> So most of my pieces are just me wearing them at home. This I found at a thrift shop. I love it. It says Siesta Key Beach. And so I wear this now when I do laundry and I'm specifically bleaching things. We use bleach a lot here. So this is my bleach shirt. And on the back it says bring on the beach. Ha! Ah, so good. And it started to get home. Oh, This I wear quite often. This is Christopher and Banks. This I absolutely thrifted in Pennsylvania. Navy blue, anchors. I like the boat neck. I don't have very many pieces with the boat neck. Three quarter sleeves. I like that. Another, another Everlane piece. This is their double V tank top. It's like a boxy fit. I got it in a size large. It's way too big for me. So I ordered another one in a solid black in a medium and that fits me a lot better. So because this is such a deep V, I need this to fit. So I might wear this to bed. I have been wearing it just around the house, but as it, you know, stretches throughout the day, things just happen. I can't wear that out. I wonder if this is my most used piece. Ink, I couldn't, I'm sure I thrifted this. This, this has bleach on it too. <laughs> I use this piece all of the time. I probably, you know, I don't even care that I have bleach on it because it's, it's an at home piece. It's long. It's kind of a, what color are we calling this? See the bleach like right at the side and this is a raw hem so I could trim it but it doesn't bother me. It's a stay in the house piece. <laughs> this also came from the thrift. Oh my goodness all of my clothing. It is an Anna Maria Island t-shirt. I couldn't tell you what size this was. I cut off the neckline. The front now has paint all over it. I used this when I was painting the countertops. I love this piece. Every time I wash it though, and I do wash it fairly often, it, I'm just treating it like it's cotton. It's vintage, I got it at the thrift store. Duffel made in the USA, it's cotton. Every time I wash it, it just gets bigger and bigger and now it's to the point where I need to roll the sleeves up because <laughs> if I don't, I won't be able to use my hands. And there's quite a big hole in the underarm. <laughs> Let's pretend it's fashionable to have underarm holes. I also live in this piece. I asked him one time, I raised my arm, he's like, you know you have a hole in that. And I was wearing it out, I'm like, oh I know. Okay, so nope, I was, I was a liar. A couple more tops. This came from Kathy, who's one of my subscribers. Kathy, I wear this piece all the time too. This is just, if it's, if it's clean, I'm wearing this at home. Love it. My friend Dar purchased this hat. She purchased some other things. We kept her beach things up in the attic. We have some things for my mom and sister when they come. Some things for my friend we keep here. 
And then she completely forgot she had it. And then she came back and I think she brought another one. Dar, we still have your hat. LuLaRoe, I used to have so many of these. And then I got off of them. Sometimes that happens. And so I sold them and made money. But I still have two. Two. I have two. One's in solid black and one's in blue. It's a size small. My other one's an extra small and it fits the same. It's they're all cotton carly. And I tie it up and wear it with leggings. Okay, on to my pants. The first two things are pajamas. These I found at the bins. They have no brand name on them. I'm gonna guess they're a Walmart brand just by the little thing that's hanging. They're a lightweight women's boxer. They're navy blue. <laughs> this is, it's a plus size brand called Kashyyyk. I think I've heard people say Kashyyyk. I most definitely found this at a thrift shop. It's see-through, so I didn't realize that. It's very see-through. So these, these are most definitely pajama pants anyway, so I wear them as pajama pants. And because this is so um, stretchy and not binding on me because of the size, this doesn't bother me. Usually elastic, not so good on. Those are, those are okay. I probably don't wear those. I still wear those. I still wear those a lot. I love these. In my, my fantasy world head, if I was to create my perfect wardrobe and I didn't need just basic cotton, soft clothing in an oversized, I would probably love the aesthetic of something that's very plain and cut. I know some, there's a Japanese style I'm thinking about. If you watch Schitt's Creek, which is one of my favorite shows and my husband and I are just finishing up season three for the third time. And they came out with season four the other day and I was pretty excited about it. And I haven't watched it. I'm waiting to watch it with him, but I probably could have been the entire fourth season through and then watch it again. That's how much I love this show. David has a very, it's minimalism, but oversized boxy pieces. And this, even though it came from Blair, which I think is, you know when you get a paper and there's a circular inside and you're flipping through and it looks like you're marketing to older people that wear Velcro shoes. I think that's that brand. <laughs> But I love these. They they represent that, but but in like the softest, mo most aqua way for me. I wear these out sometimes. I think they're like hot. They are. They have a little bit of a texture to them that makes me think of linen, but they're not. They hit me at a very awkward spot too. I, I don't know that that's a great spot for me, but the waistband is soft. <laughs> It's a soft cotton. I wear it with something over it because they're a little see-through. So this is a tunic thing too. Overalls! Kathy, I love these. I wore these the other day to um, Walgreens and I got a compliment on them. They are vintage Calvin Klein women's cropped overalls. These make me so happy. I had overalls in college in the 90s. Wish I wear with pearls. Thanks, Mom. My mom and dad got me pearls for my 16th birthday, which I still have. I had them re-strung, and then I packed them away again. So when I wear these, which isn't often because, again, it's still really hot here, but a subscriber friend, Kathy, shipped these to me. I love them so much. I wore them rolled up. And this is the pair of overalls. These are my only denim. Oh, I do have some more pants over there though. Um, these are my only pair of denim. I, I just can't do the jean waist. Okay, next pair.
Gap Terry Cloth Aqua Around the House shorts. I've had these for a long time too. I wear my things, oh, these had marks on them. Like a lot of marks, just darker, weird, I'm sure wash marks. We washed these with something. Like my husband went and cleaned the car and then he threw them in with these. I don't care, I don't wear these out. I like them though. We're gonna save that pair till the end. LuLaRoe. Heathered leggings. I used to have a lot of their leggings. Um, this is the size tall and curvy, so I wear these to bed. They just have a bigger waistband for me, and so but they fall down a little bit, but not where I couldn't wear them to bed. They're so soft. And I found those at, mm, did I buy those from the bin pickers? I might have bought those from bin pickers. Neon Buddha, I found these at a thrift shop. Very elasticy, big waist. I like these too. I like all my clothes. <laughs> Wider legs. I don't think I wear these out. Because, again, it's been so warm, I haven't worn some of that stuff. Um, but I will wear it. And anything I don't wear, I usually just sell it or re-donate or cut into rags. These I paid retail for. My, who was coming down that I needed a pair of shorts? Somebody was coming to visit, maybe my husband's sister, I don't know, and I needed a pair of shorts. I didn't have appropriate, you know, like non really short shorts or I just needed a pair of shorts. <laughs> There's no other reason. I needed a pair of shorts that didn't fall down and covered part of my leg. And I went to Beals. And I found these and they're, they're petite, but they didn't have the regular size. And I have worn them quite a bit, I have to say. I think I paid $20 for these. The print, I don't have too many prints in my wardrobe. Do I have any prints in my wardrobe? Oh, I do, I have anchors and I have palm trees. Okay, so these are off character, not character. These are whatever that's called for me but they they're not cotton but they they do work and i do use them a good bit they're bermuda short and they're more of, they don't look very slim leg but they're more slim leg than i normally go for so those i do wear quite a bit i have two big bags that look exactly like these. This is the Bagu, B-A-G-G-U bag. Pop Sugar had where they, I'm sure they still do, put out a limited edition. Nope, that's a spam person. Scam, spam, I forget what my phone says. Um, they put out a limited edition summer box and it's usually $100, but they ship you all this amazing thing things and I resold most of the items and made money but one of the pieces was a larger tote in the same print and I purchased another one that's how much I loved that bag and we use them for our groceries one of the people I follow bin pickers had this bag and I knew I had to have it it's it's the same print I love this print and this is a crossbody. I use this all the time. This went to the hospital with us. It was a hospital bag. In fact, I just unpacked it. <laughs> it's got lifesavers and um, cough drops in it. Also has chapstick. And this just this is my like. I, I only have one purse, but a lot of times I need this size bag. So this would be a library bag if I went to the library. This is our hospital bag. If I'm going to the doctor and now I have a bit of a weight, I go to the doctors quite a bit. This is the bag I'll pack. I'll take this and my water. This is just thank you, Michelle and G. This bag makes me all the way happy. Only a few more things. I have a big stack of this and I have to reorder some of these. 
So underneath my bed, because I was pulling everything in my room that was blue, every spool of thread, every everything, I figured I should include these. I keep most of my eBay supplies in my eBay storage room, but some of them are under the bed, and these are the ones that are under the bed. So poly mailers in two different sizes, aqua floral, and fish print. I need to reorder more of the fish print. I only probably have about a hundred left of these, and I use these for giveaways, but the last item. Now you can see my unmade bed. It's just everywhere. Um, is an aqua scarf. I didn't have a scarf before this. And um, friend sent this, so thank you so much. I have been wearing this. A lot of times I just get really cold or really hot depending on my medication. This has been used a lot and it's the absolute perfect color. That was my last item in my entire bedroom. Wow. I own so many items in shades of blues. It's incredible. I really thought I was going to be able to do the entire house in one video. Now mind you, most of my things live in this room because this room, we have things up on the walls, I, I live here, I saw my clothes here. The rest of the house, like in our living room, we have one thing on all of the walls and it's a mirror. We have nothing really out. So this may be the majority of my things. I don't know. So that's everything. Thank you all so much. Feel free to email me if I don't specifically answer you. I don't get to every comment at this point, but I'm still trying. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful My hair did my makeup sat down chainsaw something comes oh my goodness chainsaw you're killing me I saw him put the chainsaw down we're good I'm so sweaty I shut off the air conditioner like an hour ago we hope your day is blooming with joy